So, a couple of things. So, for uh, Muslim, rationally speaking, it makes sense that there is a God more than there's not a God. Okay? And even Allah asks in the Quran to get people to realize this, that he says, did you come from nothing? We say, no, rationally, you can't have something come from nothing. He said, did you make yourselves? Well, if I don't exist, I can't make myself. Did you make the whole universe? No, obviously not. Okay, so what is left then? What is left is rationally, there must be some creator uh, out there. So to get beyond that, though, that's rationally, you can conclude there's a creator. That's the most likely, probable uh, reality that we have is there was a creator for this existence because there is existence. We can see it. Okay. From there to move beyond that, you need something else, and that's revelation. So lots of people claim that they have revelation, so you have to read and compare and see what actually looks like it's from the creator or not. And if you look at the Quran, it very much proves itself to be from the creator, not because it says it's from the creator, but because when it talks about the creation, it doesn't contradict anything we discover in science. When it talks about human beings and how to have the best kind of life, I've lived the Quran Alhamdulillah, so, as much as I, best I can, it's made my life better. So it's proven itself in that way to me. That this is guidance from my creator because it makes things better. Um, it explains events in history. It explains, you know, life and what happens with us. Uh, these kind of things, this kind of information, it's got to be coming from the creator. They're, the person that it's attributed to could not have had that information coming from him. And then you have this historical continuity of the creator talking to people over and over again. And that being referenced and mentioned um, that's also, you have historical proof because all these different people in different countries coming with the same message and the same kind of ideas. Then the book itself showing you that it's from the creator and then the rational conclusion that there is a creator. Right? So um, those things are definitely proof enough that there's God. Uh, they said like people ask for proofs of God, like, you know, all around you, you see in this creation, all the natural cycles there, all these things provided for us, human beings being elevated and honored. And even as a human being, we have something else that's a proof called the fitra proof, where you as a human being, you understand there's a God, like even little kids understand this concept of God. Um, that's why people can trick them with Santa Claus and this other junk, because they take ideas that are from the concept of God, the true concept of God, and they make half truths out of them, right? There's somebody watching you, right? We say, oh, it's Santa Claus. Well, no, it's God. God sees everything that you do. You know, so you have this kind of uh, uh, half-truths are very dangerous for human beings because they're easily believable because part of it's true.